What a week it has been. We have seen the worst with the flooding and the best with people helping each other out. Q2's David Jay talked with one woman who is now dealing with the loss of her home after her family helped her get out safely. A Roscoe woman has been staying in Billings after losing her home on Monday. The East Rosebud River rose to levels that destroyed her home along Highway 78. We had a chance to talk with her this afternoon. That river was so angry and so wild. I've never seen anything like it. After 66 years in the small community of Roscoe, Jeanette Ostrom's house is no more. She lost it earlier this week when the East Rosebud River spilled its banks. Her son tried to save it with sandbags. The river rose around the home and then subsided, and the plan was to come back the next day. It's just the waves were huge, and it was just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And then, you know, it started washing under the house. The river kept eating away at the bank as it was going around the corner, and we could feel boulders literally rolling you know, as they got closer to the house. Jeanette's daughter, Marsha, was also there to help, and they knew it was time to leave. We were planning to come back the next morning and clean things up. I never dreamt that house would go. Jeanette and her late husband moved to the new home 12 years ago after living nearby, but her husband passed away after routine surgery took an unexpected turn. Yet another loss for this 83-year-old woman who's dealt with one obstacle after another. Why do I have to start over at 83? But with God's help, he, you know, he has a plan for us. It's really tough to see, see, see her go through this, but she'll, she'll get through it. She's a tough lady. She's been through a lot in her lifetime. She'll get through this. She already is. Jeanette is receiving a lot of help from her church and the people in Absorkia and Roscoe, a small community rallying around each other in the face of unexpected tragedy. In Billings, David J, MTN News.